Hello. So today we will look at Lubuntu 22. This is a, the lightest weight uh, Ubuntu flavor because uh, Ubuntu comes with uh, uh, Lubuntu, Kubuntu, Xubuntu, and of course the default one which uh, is with no. So Lubuntu is based on LXQT, which is a lightweight X11 QT, meaning that most of the applications are in QT, not GTK. And we will see how we can improve it and see uh, the performance of Lubuntu as compared to other distributions. So first off, if you notice what I don't like about uh, Lubuntu is there is no terminal access here. It is self-evident that a terminal should be present here because we are in a Linux environment and the terminal should be present because we will need it one way or the other. So first we will have to add a shortcut here. There are two methods. The first one, I will create a launcher. I'll put terminal, let's say, as name, terminal. The command is, I'll say bash. The icon, I need an icon. We call the icon, there is an icon called terminal. Terminal, I put yes and I press OK. So I have now a terminal. I've, I double click it. It will work. The other method is very simple. You have to go to the start menu, system tools, QT terminal, right click, add to desktop. If you notice you have here an exclamation mark, this means it will not run. What you'll have to do is you right click, trust this executable, and now we have to access for the terminal. If I want to have an access here, what I will do is I'll take one of them. Let me take, let's say this one, and I will put it on this one, on the launcher. So I have now the access here. That's the first thing that we need to do. So if I press it, I have now the terminal. What I want to see is, let me check how much space Lubuntu has. If you notice, it has around 8.89 gigabyte. So how did this come from? Basically, if, when you install it, it will be around 6 gigabyte, 6.4. And I already updated the system. When you update the system, there is some cache left and all of this stuff coming from the update, it will reach 8.89, which is too much. Let me see if I can clean it and see how how much we can get for space. So we got around 700. So we have 8.16 gigabyte. Still there is some, I don't, uh, we have to clean also more in order to get to the, to the 6.4 or around 7.5 gigabytes. That's the one that we are aiming for. Anyway, this one is too much with the only a few programs installed upon, uh, other than the library office. Next thing we will do is, I didn't like Lubuntu having LXQT. Why? Because LXQT is an awful distribution. They tried to improve on LXDE, but it didn't quite succeed. Uh, the other thing that we will notice, let's say, if I want to check the version about LXQT. So here you have the LXQT version 0.17. Unfortunately, it's not the latest one. The latest one is 1.1 something, the time that I recorded this video. So even also when I updated the system, the LXQT is 0.17. Ironically, there is a PPA which can install the 1.1 version. Why I like 1.1 version? For one thing only, which is if I right click on the panel here, configure panel there is the widgets if you notice here the widgets is telling me what we can place here from the widgets here in 1.1 there is an extra widget which give me if I want to run a command let's say I want to check how many files in a folder I can put a bash script and this will give me directly let's say how many I need there is some improvements they did uh, in the years 
let's say CPU monitor, you can place it here, etc., etc. But still, the LXQT panel is way behind many panels like the Polybar, Exmo Bar, even Tin2, which is an old one. They have more features than this panel. So this is what I don't like. So first off, let us update our LXQT. So to do that, we will go to the panel. Okay, so we have to sudo add apt repository ppa lubuntu dash dev slash backboards. I press enter. I put the password. So now we are adding this ppa. Press enter to continue. And it tells me this ppa currently ships the following new software LXQT 1.1. That's what we need. So I press enter. Okay, so the ppa repo is finished. Now we need to update so sudo apt full upgrade and if you notice in the full upgrade there is the lxqt that are needed for the upgrade so i press yes okay and it's finished uh, just to note that we are using a virtual machine with two gigabyte of ram and two cores so uh, just to have a feel of how fast this Lubuntu is and the update took a lot of time just to be frank the, this update took a lot of time so basically that's it let us see uh, I think we need to so we have now version 1.1.0 if we want to check uh, let's say I want to check the themes because it says it has now more themes let me check here I'll execute the settings appearance these are the themes. There's not much, but uh, as they told uh, that there's some wallpapers that changed and there is also the themes. And not to mention that the LXQT has all of these uh, programs like LX image, like uh, PC Man FM QT, like uh, QPS, like the archiver. All of these are also updated. If I want to check the command here, if you notice now, if I go to the widgets, I want to add the custom command. This one is not present in 0 0.17. So if you want a, a custom command to be uh, on the panel, maybe a bash script or anything, you can put it here. It is a basic one, but it's good that they added it. And of course, the LXQT 1.1 has more power management uh, optimization and more optimization. So we are on the right track to update it. The next thing that we want to talk about is that if you want to have a very fast system, the first thing you, you will have you need is the browser. Let me keep this one. And if we look at the browser, we have on the browser, we have Firefox. They could have used Conqueror, I think, because Conqueror is a browser with Qt also, Qt engine, but they opted for Firefox. If I want to open it, it will take a lot of time. Why? Because they are using Snaps. Let us, I will not wait. We will cover some of the things that they have here. They have a feather pad. It is a good alternative for leaf pad. There is the calculator, the file archiver, there is the PCMan FM QT. This we will talk about also. I don't know why they added Vim here. Vim is a terminal based uh, editor. So if you want to press it and go into the terminal, it doesn't make any sense. But they used it. There is a simple application, Noble Note, and there is the Pico. So now we have now this uh, Firefox. If we notice, let us uh, check in the help. We have about Firefox. So it is 105 and Mozilla Firefox snap for Ubuntu. That's why it took some time to, uh, to start. So if you want to optimize it, you need to do many things if you want to keep the snap. Already I optimized it. If you notice now, it, uh, it booted fast. So how did I optimize it? It's very simple. First, what you have to do is 
you go to the settings you go to privacy you go down and you put never remember history this is the first thing that you have to do if you want to keep the snaps on Lubuntu and you get out Sometimes it will tell you to restart because now you are on privacy mode. So now we are on the privacy mode. So you tell me I need cookies. So I tell you if you need cookies, you will be fat, you will be sick. So it's better not use cookies. So how I do it? It's very simple. What you can do without the use of cookies is bookmarks. Look what I did. I, I made a bookmark for YouTube. If you right click it and edit the bookmark you can put here a keyword I put a keyword why 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 maybe you can put a keyword of one this is keyword with one so whenever I go to the search and I press one directly it will goes to YouTube you can do it for all your websites another thing if you say well I use the cookies for getting directly to a website without signing in okay that's fine so what they have here with firefox what i really do is i go to the settings or oh, not to the settings i really go to the passwords so every time you have a site you create a new login for the site let's say uh, for youtube let's say so the website is youtube you have username and you put the password and you save it so whenever you have this website any website that you have you just right click on the username and it will tell you fill it it will auto fill it for you so instead of using the cookies you can use the bookmarks and you can use the passwords it will be faster there's more optimization but maybe i will put them on another video so now let's say i want to press youtube all i want to do is press one so directly you have YouTube, you press enter and it will directly go to YouTube. The second option for improving Firefox is removing snap completely and replace it with the default one, which is a PPA. So first, if I want to remove all the snaps on Lubuntu, which is a good thing because snaps make the programs uh, slower what you have to do is you search for snap to flat pack there is a certain script which is at github so you just search for it so it is github.com master geek mx snap to flat pack this is the file you press it let us go row and I go here file save page as and I want to save it in the downloads it is snap.flatpack.sh and I will save it so it is saved in my downloads so now I can close Firefox snap Firefox and I will go to the downloads let me go to the downloads this is snap to flat pack let me right click on it i put properties and in the permissions i have to make it executable very simple we need to put it as executable okay we have to go to the terminal i'll go cd downloads I press enter and then i have to press dot slash s n snap do flat pack very simple i press enter so it gives me warning all your snaps will be deleted what does this mean that we are removing the firefox snaps and there's also some snaps maybe that are installed will be removed so it give me a warning i press yes so only the snaps that are installed are 
Firefox. There's a, here bear core 20, etc. So you put the password. So the second step, directory cleanup. Do you want to completely remove the directory snap? It's a small directory that has around 100 megabytes. So I say yes. Do you want to completely remove the directory snap? Yes, I don't need it again. Also the other directory, yes. The cache directory, yes. The library, yes. So after this operation, 107 megabytes will be freed. And now they are installing flat packs, enabling flat packs, so in order we can install flat packs. If you want, you can in the system, in the file, you can remove this, uh, this item. You can go to the file and remove all the things related to flat packs. So you only remove the snaps okay so we are done snap is no more and flat pack is in check the list of the apps that were installed as snap in case you want them reinstalled like firefox now restart your, com your computer to finish the setup of flat pack i will not use flat pack but i want to check something sudo apt install firefox let's say and it tells me we cannot install Firefox because it depends on the snap. So what we'll have to do now is we need to install the PPA repository for Firefox in order to use this one. So what we will do is we'll go to the uh, repo for Firefox, which is Mozilla team dash PPA. Okay, so sudo add apt repository ppa mozilla team slash ppa. I press enter. So we have now the repo for uh, Firefox. What we can do is sudo apt install Firefox dash the ESR if you want. Let me press yes. And it is downloading. Okay, so now we have the Firefox ESR edition, extended security release. I like the security release better than the one because I'm used to Debian. Debian used these by default. So let us open it. Okay, so now it is the, now we have the ESR version. We put about, so we have Mozilla Firefox for Ubuntu Canonical the ESR edition. It is 102. We, uh, the previous one was 105, but they are different. The Firefox and the Firefox extended support release, they are different. So this one is good and it has all the features that I talked about. So here what we can do is, as I told you, we go to the setting, the privacy, never remember history. So restart Firefox now. It becomes much faster it becomes much faster to load and if you want you can add the bookmarks so this is also fixed so we fix the browser the next thing we need to fix is the file manager if we notice the file manager is PC man FM where is it let me check it where it is so it is in the accessories PC man FM QT if I open it if you notice here, uh, the spacing is, there's too much space between the items. I don't like it. They mimicked uh, the GTK version with everything. And they, because it is QT, they wanted everything to be QT. So they cloned it and they made this, this uh, PC Man FM QT. What I really like, that I don't like about it is the productivity. If I have many items here, these spaces are too much for me. I need less space. So what I do is I install the PC Man FM, the original version or the GTK version. So what we can do here is install PC Man FM, the 
GTK version. It is also a small version. I don't like to use the the other one. Let me first uh, put it here so that we can know the difference. We put it here. So now if you notice, look how much the spacing between them. If I go to the Lubuntu folder, look, uh, look how with this space, look how the items are. If I want to PC man FM, let me go to system tools. File Manager PC Man FM, and this is the original one, the GTK one. Look at the difference. So we have we have this one and we have this one. Which one do you like? For me, I like this one because you see how much there is a space. You can add whatever you want. This is the directory tree. If I put here the directory tree, look what happens. I have to go down in order to be so this one is more productive. The spacing is less. You have a lot of things coming here. Let's say I want to go to, uh, there's not much in, in every one of these. Let's go to the downloads. Look at this, these two files. If I go to the downloads, look at the spacing. There is a lot of spacing here. As for the theming, we can theme it as GTK. There's no problem. If they are concerned with this QT, the difference. Sometimes they, uh, I don't know how to change these ones. If you know how to change it, you can tell me how to change the spacing between them. But out of the box, look at the difference. Let me go to the places. Here they have places, here they have lists. But for the directory tree, they are the same. So personally, you need to do to get this one. And this one, don't try to get it, uh, get to use it. Because this is one is more productive. These are some of the things that we need to change in Ubuntu. Uh, it is not uh, the best choice for uh, lower end, but it can do it the job. Since we have uh, many of the programs that most users use, like uh, we have the Bluetooth, if you need the, the library office, all the uh, library office is available. The sounds, everything is there. It is uh, it's a little bit bloated because the spacing it with all with the, all this space. Imagine with around eight gigabytes of uh, of uh, space and there is no wine. There is only these small programs. With another versions, you can get uh, more productive. One example of that is Fedora spins the LXQT. Or the LXDE, they have the LXDE version, it is very good. Also, Artix has the LXQT version, which is also more uh, updated than this one. But if you like Ubuntu and you are willing to change the things that I have changed so far, go ahead and use it. Thank you and we'll be back in another video.